This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. The Bahamas in full action today at the IAAF World Track and Field Championships in Moscow. First, let's take a look at Jeffrey Gibson. He started things off for the Bahamas today in the semifinals of the 400 hurdles. Jeffrey on the inside leg, doing pretty well after the first 200, still in contention coming off that last hurdle off the curve. He seems as if he's not in play to make it from out of the first level of heats. However, after this hurdle, he would presumably get in a good spot, the top four advance. I think he glimpses and realizes he's in the four, slows down his time. 50.25 seconds, he becomes an automatic qualifier for tomorrow's night's session in the hurdles. Moving on now to some track and field news from Chris, the fireman Gibson in the 400. This has been a, a Chris Brown, pardon me, a, where he's been very troubled sometimes. As you know, he's been not able to pick up a medal in the World Track and Field Championships in the 400 individual event. He was in good contention, comes back here in the last 80 meters of the 400. He places third his time, 45.17 seconds, in a season's best. However, he does not automatically qualify and does not qualify on time either. To the 100 semifinals for girls, Shaniqua Q Ferguson, she lights up her room with her smile. We'll see it, maybe. There we go. Uh, of course, in this, she's in the outside lane, lane nine. You can barely see her on this. She'll come down, and this was one of the strongest heats in this semifinal. She finishes sixth, a good time, a respectable time of 11.35 seconds. However, she does not advance either. Now looking towards tomorrow and Team Bahamas as they get out there in the high jump. We'll have the qualifiers for high jump. Donald Thomas will be in the first flight. Ryan Ingram will be in the second flight. They both must clear 2.31 meters to advance. That's about 7 feet, 6 and 3 quarter inches. Or they have to be in the top 12. Also tomorrow, Jeffrey Gibson, we told you about him in the 400 meters hurdle semifinals. He'll be running in heat 3 lane one he must again in this instance be in the top two in his heat are two of the fastest losers to advance that'll do it for sports